The Lord bless you, heart dwellers. Well, some interesting things are being revealed to us by the Lord. And our prayer group began today listening to Ezekiel's message, which I think is preceding this one, about the new spiritual gifts the Lord is imparting, as well as discussing the melting tundra, which is going to cause a significant rise in the water. And we've talked about this before, and that comes from Mike from around the world, who's involved in those things heavily in the government. And <clears throat> so when I came into prayer, the Lord began, Do not be afraid, my little flock, for my Father has put in place safeguards and measures. And what has been given to Ezekiel has a bearing on all of this. How are you going to use these vehicles? It is strictly in the spirit realm. However, once you grow beyond the realities of this earthbound world, you come to realize that what is in other dimensions of existence are actually more real and substantial than what you are living in now. Lord, how in the world are we going to do this? And it was funny because when Ezekiel first talked about it, I was visualizing myself in this capsule kind of um, ski doodle or whatever you want to call it. And I just fit into it perfectly. And it was shiny on the outside. It's all about, and that's really all I remember. Okay, so I still want to know how we're going to come to realize this, how we're going to function in this area. He answered me with great care. I will lead you into embracing these things as real as they are. It will require some effort on your part. Fasting and keeping your body light and unencumbered with heavy foods will be a start for you to detach somewhat from this reality. Wow, I'm excited about this vehicle already. <laughs> Yes, you have embraced the concept and even allowed your mind to see and feel it and sit in it. This ability must be cultivated. This is where the real power lies on this earth. That is to say, in the things that are beyond the curtain of your present dimension. The more you give place to that, the more comfortable you will be in that reality. Claire, when you were standing with your staff and making declarations and calling upon the heavenly armies, do you not see them? Yes, Lord, I do. Well, lean into that and allow yourself to see the details of what is going on, because I tell you truly, all of it is right there in front of you, and it is just as real as this dimension. There are really eight dimensions to this world I have created. You normally only operate in one, what people would call reality. But the others are also reality, just having different physiological traits and boundaries. So when we're talking, dancing, or flying together in the spirit realm, all of that is real in the second dimension. And this dimension is a very real world, and many people who have sought to grow in understanding are very at home and very accurate in that dimension, to the point of it being like home to them. And it is true, in the spirit realm you are at home because you are spirit. Then there are subatomic dimensions that you do not need to know about yet, but they exist as a part of the real world I created. In time, you will come to understand them all. Time is yet another dimension. That is why people can time travel forward or backwards in time. I prefer that they do not do that, because they most likely will not be able to return. So it is a real death to this world for them. The demons are ruthless and take advantage of men's journeys in and out of other realities. They are not limited by the dimension they function in most of the time, either. They can manipulate matter, energy, space, and time, in other words, any dimensions below them. They are barred from the eighth dimension because of the blackness and weightiness of their sinful souls. 
The eighth dimension is only open to the saints and angels and those on earth without guile, perfectly belonging to God alone. You see, I have wanted to discuss this with you before, but for reasons you understand all too well, I had to wait. Now I can speak of them freely, and you will get them right. This is a milestone for us, my beloved. Well, thank you, Lord, for not giving up on my faithless soul. And to answer that question on your mind, I, was, I had a question in that moment, the devils cannot interfere on that eighth dimension when you and I and the Father are together and communicating. In the eighth dimension, you operate there sometimes when you're composing and singing. This is the most pure and powerful dimension. And when you are there, you don't want to come back down. All the music that proceeds from this dimension is highly anointed to open the gates of heaven so that the listeners may enter in. This is also commonly called open heavens. There's much more of it than meets the eye or what you're permitted to perceive, whether limited by circumstances, your mood or desire, or what is relevant to you on a need-to-know basis. But basically the rule is that if you need to operate in another dimension, you will be given the tools. I am now introducing this to the Christian community at large. I know you are slightly confused about this, but go easy with it and everything will be clarified for you. It takes time to adjust to this, but just be as a little child and it will become clear faster than if you tried to understand it with your intellect. In any case, these vehicles are your introduction to a greater understanding and ability to function in this realm. I see your mind clicking away, my love. You're almost there. It will sit and settle and become another facet of your reality. Be patient with yourself. That was the end of his message.